If you have not done so yet, please pause the video and reread the problem before continuing on. Here we have two sinusoidal waves that have identical wavelengths and identical amplitudes that happen to be traveling in opposite directions. And under those very special circumstances, what is produced is a standing wave. Now, a standing wave is sort of somewhat hard to draw on a static screen like this, but we've done our best. And what we have shown is the standing wave initially in its flat position. And what I want to do is I want to follow the motion of this point on the standing wave. Now, we're starting at a time of zero seconds, and then we're going to let the tape run, so to speak. So follow that point, and one quarter of a period later, that purple point ends up in this position, but then one more quarter of a period later it ends up back in the flat position. So in other words, to go from the flat position of the standing wave to the next flat position of the standing wave takes a total time of half of a period. But this question said that that time was half of a second. So what we are saying is that one half of the period is equal to half of a second. But of course, we are more interested in the full period, not half of a period. So we multiply both sides of this equation by 2. And we can see, after canceling, that the full period of this standing wave is 1 second. Now this is going to be helpful to us because the question wants us to calculate the wavelength of the wave. But we also are given the speed. The speed was 10 centimeters per second. There's a nice relationship between wavelength and speed that we can take advantage of. The speed of the standing wave is going to equal its wavelength multiplied by its frequency. But you might wonder, we don't have the frequency, but in fact we can find the frequency because the frequency is the reciprocal of the period. So in fact, we can make a little substitution here. We can substitute one over the period for the frequency. And then if we multiply both sides of that equation by the period t so that it cancels out on the right hand side, we can see that the period multiplied by the speed is going to give us the wavelength. So now all we need to do is plug in. We know the period from earlier was one second. The speed is given as 10 centimeters per second. And then when we multiply these two numbers, dimensionally the seconds are going to cancel out. We have 1 times 10. The wavelength is 10 centimeters. That is the correct answer for the wavelength of the standing wave.